your storm tracker team forecast with Danielle Giuliano. Well, we're taking a look outside right now. As the Tigers take a win here, we're looking at Tiger Stadium. Temperature sitting at 76 degrees, feels like 76 degrees. So overall, pretty decent way to end our Saturday if some of you are out there celebrating the win. Doppler radar right now showing us drying out this evening, and we are going to stay a little bit on the drier side as we head throughout our Sunday. 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy skies throughout the area, most of the heavy rainfall staying further off to our west. Then you move into the afternoon, just like we saw today, that chance for those isolated spotty showers. We'll continue to move through southeast Louisiana. It's typical for this time of year, nothing abnormal. But more widespread rainfall does return as we head into our Monday ahead of a frontal system we're going to see that's going to stall out and dissipate. It's going to leave us with more chances for widespread heavy rainfall Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week before we start to calm things down and go back to our normal afternoon rain chances as we head into Thursday, Friday, and next weekend. So big picture what we're dealing with, isolated rain chances, cold front shifts south. That's what's going to be our rainmaker this week. And all eyes are on Florence. We're all watching Tropical Storm Florence right now. But we also have Florence, we have Isaac, and we have Helene here. We're watching all of them out there in the Atlantic. It is peak hurricane season. So again, this isn't abnormal, but we're still keeping a close eye on these systems. It looks like some of them are really starting to gain their strength here. We're looking at Florence. Florence, as of right now, is the biggest threat to the East Coast and expected to strengthen here intensely over the next 24 to 48 hours. So Florence has it tracking over to the East Coast, and then we're watching Isaac here moving into the Caribbean. That's what we're going to be keeping a close eye on here over the next seven days or so. And then we're watching Helene, who's expected to remain a fish storm. So this is what we're watching. Helene right now has sustained winds of 60 miles per hour, so expected to become a Category 1, then a Category to by Monday and stay out in the Atlantic Ocean. Then we're watching Tropical Storm Isaac expect, expected to strengthen to a Category 1 by Monday, Tuesday a Category 2, and then back to a Category 1 a little bit as it encounters some shear and moves into the Caribbean by Wednesday evening there. Now, this is what we're really watching. This is our European model here that we're watching as it goes across here. We're watching Florence as it shifts and heads towards the East Coast. Models suggesting right now that it's heading towards the East Coast and the Carolinas, anywhere between Georgia, the Carolinas, and Virginia. We're watching as Isaac heads into the Caribbean and Helene's remains a fish storm out in the Atlantic, but still strengthens into pretty significant category uh, hurricane strength here. So, Tropical Storm Florence, that's what we're watching. Right now, still a tropical storm by tomorrow, expected to quickly and rapidly intensify. Category one, but by tomorrow, still expected to be a category three. By Monday and Tuesday, expected to amplify to a category four. And right now, models are suggesting that the eye is going to end up anywhere between. Far south, South Carolina, far north, North Carolina, even into portions of Virginia, making landfall anywhere between Thursday. So all eyes are on Florence at this time. Seven-day forecast showing those temperatures sticking with us slightly below average. But remember, temperatures, yes, sitting in the upper 80s. But feel like temperatures still sitting in the 90s. It's still hot. It's still humid. We still have that tropical air mass sitting on top of us. We still have rain. So again, take a breath. It's still going to be hot. It's not fall just yet here in southeast Louisiana. We have a few months, even though football did officially start. Remember, you can always catch us on the radio and check your BP. I was going to say, at least we don't have the big effects of Gordon. But, yeah, we got to deal with some rain. Yeah, exactly. Well.